I still have three lives and I'm going to get another one out of score sometime. I think it's uh, 14 million. Well, I want my 9 at the top of my score to transform into a 14. I need that power, but I'm not going to get it because uh, there's too many enemies there. Let's wait a bit. It's going to bounce back at some point. And yeah, Awakening Mode is useful! Awake there, whoa, whoa! Missing a small bullet is a dangerous thing to do. And there you go. So this is stage 5. Huh, we are reaching the end of the game, kind of. Another enemy spawning from the very bottom of the screen. That's fair. That's totally fair. Stage 5, I think, features yeah, lots of big guys, like I like to say. Woo! Hey, you. Hey, you, hey, you, hey, you! And hey, you, hey, you, hey, you! Well, I guess these are actually medium-sized guys. If you want to be more specific. Whoop! And I, wow, they ate up through my 500 gems in like one second. That was a thing. And now I'm kind of stuck. Yeah, I was kind of... Oh! Here's an extend! Exactly when I needed it. And I have to use it again because, yeah, the problem with uh, using a bomb is that all of a sudden you're not spreading your attack, so the screen is filled with bullets. Like I am filled with fear and desperation, the screen is filled with bullets. So whenever... Oh, that was bad playing. Once again, whenever you want to actually restream stuff, you know, start going the other way, then uh, this is a good time to use Awakening. And power. I don't need it. And that's the end of stage 5. Did, was there a mid-boss? I don't think there even was a mid-boss. And boss of stage 5 is going to appear very soon. Hopefully. Ta-da! It's the same boss as in stage 1. Uh, I said that a bit in advance, but hey, you might have recognized her voice. I forgot her name. She's actually one of the princesses of uh, Shinra Kingdom. So uh, yeah, she's like our rival or something, but she's on the e she on, she's on the side of the evil king, and she has only two phases. Well, she had only two phases last time, and the first phase, well, the first phase I passed three attacks actually. That's quite a lot, and the second one is the fun one. You have to rotate around; it's pretty easy, and she once again uses this detachable thing, which is going to explode pretty soon. Oh, no, it's going to use first. Titan thing, and there it explodes, and then there she launches her third attack, which is pretty crazy, so uh, we want to slow down time. Oh, I still got hit. That's bad playing once again. I'm playing super badly. Well, you know, I'm not used to the speed of Awakening mode. And this attack, this attack is pretty fun. It's uh, Crazy Hitboxes 101. Basically, actually, there's tons of ways to clear this. And you can actually very, very easily go through the walls she seems to spawn, but which are not actually walls, basically. Like that. See? See those crazy hitboxes? That was the crazy hitboxes. And... And, 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 the final stage. With hardly any interruption, be ready to start. There's no dialogue, well, there's no anguish in the middle. So yeah, you want to start the stage exactly like I did, except maybe going the other way around. You want to use your focus shot to destroy as many of the enemies as possible. And they make a really disturbing noise when they get hurt, killed, I guess. I guess they get killed. It's seriously disturbing to me. And why am I awakening here? I'm not sure. You want to use the lasers because otherwise it just takes too much time to pierce through everything. Not doing the greatest job because of this cannon here. Here, now it's gone. And the music is the same as the first stage. Pretty good song, actually. Music. Well, I'm not much of a fan of the music in this game, but this this first stage, I guess, main theme in my call, is actually really decent. Oh, what? 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 Oh well, I was actually way too lazy here. <laughs> What you want to do in this section is focus at the last moment and then kill everything. Because now this extend is completely useless and I have 
uh, two lives for the final boss, which isn't that many, really. Let's be honest, I might actually die here. I might actually die, which would be kind of a shame. But hey, I wasn't pl play playing much attention, so uh, yeah. Final boss, he's here on the top of this machine. I think inside the machine is the actual queen of Shinra. I'm not completely sure because, you know, I don't know anything about the plot and stuff like that. So there's... Uh, so he only has two like, two phases. It's pretty easy, actually. Quite quite terrible. And the end of the first phase is now. The second phase is pretty annoying. I will admit that. Like he sends out more machines and stuff. He's really into machinery. Oh yeah. Because there's basically lots of layers of different kinds of bullets, and you have to really understand. Uh, what I what. Okay, I just learned something pretty important here, and let's just bomb this because I'm not really concentrating now on the whole thing. What I learned is that you can't just uh, use the awakening just before you get hit. Because you need, like, it needs time to settle if you want to use the autobomb feature. And uh, yeah, his final real form, obviously. Obviously, because otherwise, what would be a final boss without a special transformation thing? Well, he's not transforming for now, but it's in the actual real fight stuff. And plan. What's special is that he uses Awakening as well, even though he's not supposed to because he's the queen and not the queen. He actually can transform into a female character and uh, use stuff, use attacks. So. He has lots of attacks this time, obviously. This thing is pretty fun. It's not... It was hard at first, but now it's pretty simple. Except when I can't hit him! There you go. And, uh... Oh, this phase is stupidly annoying, though. Oh, man. Stupidly. So I'm just going to do something I never do, which is... Use Awakening on the final boss. I just don't do that. Oh, and then he uses those guard things which make those weird, disturbing voices. You just need to go under them like that. And, wow, I forgot two of them, actually. That's really dangerous because of that. But, BAM! I will absorb everything! Something like that. Now he goes into super awakening mode where he fuses the male and female versions to create some kind of dolly doll blob doll blob destructoid. I think that's the name. I'm just ch cheating here because honestly, screw this attack. Screw this attack. Even though I actually lost probably too much firepower and I have to, going to have to face it a bit more. Nope. And uh, three attacks left, maybe, unless he has another freaking lifeguard. The specialty about this attack is that there's stuff coming from behind you and behind me as well. Well, you know, behind the player is my point. So you want to be careful, and also you want to stay under the boss, otherwise you can do damage, and that went pretty decently well. And I got my extra life somewhere. This attack is just insane. Well, it's not really hard, but it's a bit stupid because of that part. Because it gets really tight, so you have to stay under him, basically, that's the point. Because when the scene tightens, well, well, this time it's terrible. The thing tightens and it gets really tight. And tight, 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 but I did pretty well. And the final attack of the game, heck yeah! This is a pretty awesome attack. He sends uh, those weird gems things. And, uh, yeah, what you can see, it's, man, it's this small hitboxes again, basically. <laughs> Pretty intense attack with stuff coming from three directions. We had that before, but this time things turn around quite a lot, so it's pretty exciting. Oh yeah. I moved downwards a bit too much here, but apparently it didn't cost much. I got hit by something right at the end. Heck yeah. Well, it wasn't right at the end, actually. Yeah, there you go. A bit a bit disappointing that I failed the last attack, but hey, what can you do? Uh, that last attack, if uh, you bomb, it heals him. So don't bomb. And I'm not sure what happens in Kakusei mode. I think probably like you can't damage him or something like that. And uh, the queen is rescued? Question mark. Or is that the king? 
Or is that the fusion of both? I don't know. Yeah, probably like the king, he put the queen's soul into him, which allowed him to use the fusion, or to use uh, the awakening, and then fuse the two things, and probably his soul flew away, or something like that. Probably. And, uh, yeah, we've got actors for male and female versions of everyone. The, the king even had... Oh, Cesare is the name of uh, the princess, which is the first and, and fifth boss. And uh, <coughs> I was saying... Yeah, we, uh, I forgot to talk about that, but he gets the double voice when he's in fusion mode. And it sounds pretty creepy. And uh, T-Force. Reeb, Neptune, that's not my name. And the music sounds a bit strange right now. I beat the game, I 1cc'd Escaluda, it's, I, I guess it's a really easy game because I really played badly. Well, the problem... Well, I'm never going to let them that. It's a cave game, so you really don't have many resources at all, and uh, it's pretty easy to, like, lose lives if you make a very slight mistake and stuff. It says game over, which is a bit, uh, distressing. Why does it say you win, or something like that? I have some kind of score, and I'm number one. Heck yeah. Well, I guess that was Let's Play Escaluda. Maybe in the future I'll like replay the game without uh, Awakening mode. That's actually the more interesting challenge. And so there's two challenges. Well, there's playing without bombs. I've already done that, actually. It's not very interesting at all. Just uh, just shift all the time. And uh, what I'll try demonstration. Maybe be, uh, there'll be an, uh, something else before, but I'll try, I think, uh, a, a play with uh, without awakening. And maybe, if it's not too much of a pain, a play uh, which is the opposite, like always an awakening, which means you get into crazy red mode all the time. And uh, what I don't like about this, I played a bit like that, but uh, yeah, it's harder, of course. But the problem is that you have very little power for bosses. So maybe it's not the case with uh, Ageha rather than Tateha, or is it the opposite? Yeah, Tateha rather than Ageha, so maybe I should look into that. And uh, there you go, that was a cave game. That was a cave game. The others are probably all much harder, but we'll get there someday. Some, sometime or someday. I can't say someday, that doesn't mean anything. Get a hold of yourself, Robin. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time. Oh, by the way, by the way, by the way, not see you guys next time. My uh, laptop computer died, like, probably, absolutely, and completely died. Which means that uh, my, uh, on my laptop computer was my uh, latest video of uh, 333333, which, you know, at the, 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 the other stage. Which uh, kind of demotivates me from playing the, 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 the extra levels because, you know, I wanted to have the full page with all the things and I don't want to blah, replay stuff unblind. Well, I guess I could, but when knowing that the video is there and I was happy with it and stuff, and I didn't, don't even, I, I don't think I have any saves at all farther than that, well, blah, with any stuff on it, so that would be terrible. Hey, I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching anyway, and see you guys next time.